Watch me how I do it now. Presto! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. Did you all see that we are almost at 500K? Oh my goodness. Okay, contain yourself, Mary. Keep it together. Today's video is going to be such a great video, y'all. Today I'm gonna be doing a lace wig install. I haven't done one of those in a while. And y'all, it's a five by five HD lace closure. This is my first time working with one of those. And y'all, it is bomb. So with a lace closure wig, you only get lace in the central part of the wig. You don't get lace across the entire front like with the lace front but with this one instead of the four by four you get five inches wide and five inches long so this particular lace wig is going to look very natural you're also going to get more parting space and it's going to be easier to install so right now i'm just trying the unit on and it looks so gorgeous this unit is in the body wave texture and i did get it in length 20 and i'm really excited to see how fast and easy i'm going to be able to install this wig i love the lace on it the lace on this unit is really fine and good quality lace although the knots have not already been bleached i am going to show you guys a technique that i use in order to create that bleach knot look but if you were to bleach the knots it's going to take it to another level so this is what the texture looks like right out of the package and you can leave it as is but with the body wave texture i feel like it looks really beautiful with curls it also looks really great with waves which is what i'm going to show you guys how i achieved later on but let's take it off and put it on the mannequin head so i can show you guys what the unit looks like up close so now that i have the unit on a mannequin head you all can see up close how natural this hairline looks and i'm also showing you all a really good visual of where the hairline stops so on the sides there isn't any lace it's just the wig cap so when wearing this unit you wouldn't want to pull it back to expose that portion but you can still get a very natural look although you don't have lace in that area so now i'm going to show you guys how i tint the lace as well as conceal the knots a bit so that they look very natural so i like to start with the ruby kiss 3d face creator i just use a brush in order to stipple that all over the lace and then i'm going to follow it up with my sally hansen airbrush leg spray which i haven't used in a while but I just used it in the area where the part is and it made such a great difference. Yeah, okay. I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. And when I do things, I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I've been on solo dolo. And I'm feeding for some vices on the low low. I'm gonna do what I do when I keep it on lock. Wanna move, wanna groove, wanna make that thing pop. Mm -hmm. Pace yourself, brace yourself, things about to get wild. Release yourself, things about to get wild, things about to get wild, things about to get wild. You all notice how much of a difference that made it looks so much better and it looks so much more realistic now with the lace closure often you only think you can do a middle part but i am going to show you guys a side part with this lace wig i'm also going to show you all a few styles later so be sure to stay tuned but now we're going to get into the install and i'm going to be using bed head spray in order to lay the unit down this has become my favorite adhesive it is so quick and easy as i shared in my previous video y'all you have to try it if you have not already Just let them watch. 
Oh yeah, I'm hot. Man on the wire. Yeah, I'm on top. I don't panic, cause this a cruise. This is easy, it's what I do. y'all so now that we've melted the lace and it looks oh so fabulous i realized after installing the unit that my part was not in the middle so i'm gonna shift the part and then i'm gonna begin to style the hair <laughs> So after getting my part straight, I realized that there was a distinction between where my stocking cap started and where the lace actually started. So I needed to actually make sure that they meshed a little better. So I am going to apply some concealer to the part just to make sure everything's blended and it looks more seamless. But you can absolutely avoid this if you do the ball cap method. All right, so now that we have all of that taken care of, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved the waves that you saw at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna be using the Bedhead A Wave We Go tool. I've had it for some time now, and I pull it out every now and again, and I was like, ooh, this will be the perfect unit to try it on. It turned out so, so well. And y'all, I turned the temperature all the way up to 400 degrees, and this hair could stand the heat. Yes, I, yes, I, I keep it moving, keep it moving. teach you a new dance. New dance.
bitches love it. These waves turned out so amazing. I love how they look and the hair feels so soft and beautiful. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. I am going to show you all some quick and easy styles that you can do with this hair. I'm also going to show you all how to remove it because I did get a few requests regarding that. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back on. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial where I showed you guys how to install a 5x5 HD lace closure wig. It was so easy to work with. I was able to do such great styles with it and it's so easy to remove, which is really cool. Be sure to check the description. I'll have all the links and specifications for this unit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye guys. Presto! Watch me how I do it now. Presto!